so what we have here are three isotopes of hydrogen, the, the simplest element that we have. Now, um, the first one here, uh, it's hydrogen, which is why it's an H, and it's got one proton in the middle, so that's going to be my proton, and it's got a total of one particles in the nucleus. So this one here um, is the simplest form of hydrogen. This is kind of what most of the universe is made out of. And if it's an atom, we also have one electron, which is orbiting that nucleus. So um, that's the first simplest form of hydrogen. We've got another one, which again has one proton, the yellow block, but this time it's got two things in the, nu in the nucleus, so it's got one proton and one neutron. Once again, this is surrounded by one electron, which is orbiting around it. And then finally, do you want to introduce a third? The third one, yes. In the third one, again, we have one proton, so that is our yellow block. Our mass number up here is three, so three minus one gives us two neutrons. Now, our number of protons is also equal to our number of electrons, so this, again, is just going to have one little electron swinging around the outside. And so these are just known as isotopes. They're the same element, they've got the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. So these are all the different isotopes of hydrogen that exist. We've got normal hydrogen, which is what most of uh, the water and kind of the bits inside your body where you've got hydrogen bonded to carbon and other things. This is our bog standard hydrogen. We've also got deuterium, which has got two things, and tritium, which has three things. So these are just some of the common isotopes of hydrogen. So here are three more different isotopes. These ones are uranium, and uranium always has 92 protons in the nucleus. So we can see that that is pretty massive. Now, um, the three ones here that we've got here are uranium-234, and often with an isotope, we call it the name of the element, and then we give the number afterwards. So we can call this uranium-234, uranium-235, and uranium-238. Now, these all have different kind of nuclear properties. Um, uranium-235, if this absorbs another neutron and becomes uranium-236, it then splits apart, and that's where we have nuclear fission. Uranium-238 is what most of the naturally occurring uranium is, uh, and this one actually can undergo alpha emission to become more stable. And then we've got this other one here, which is very short-lived, and this is a radioactive isotope of uranium called uranium-234. And so... To work out the number of neutrons, all you need to do is look at the difference between the number at the top and the number at the bottom. Sometimes it's worth putting this in your calculator to avoid making any mistakes. And what we can see here is that these three isotopes, although they all have the same number of protons, and indeed they'd have the same number of electrons if they were just atoms, the different thing, the thing that makes them an isotope, is a different number of neutrons.